Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love. And uh, I have been very drawn to use the sacred activation, the sacred geometry activation, all week. So I'm going to continue to do so because this is the deck that's just been calling because it gives great activations as to what we need to do to help. Look at that, ignite the passion very much in sync with the other message that we got yesterday I think it was about rekindling the passion and uh, the passion for life finding something that you really love and really going for it because that is what um, shifts up your energy and everything is about aligning energy and uh, so let me just see what it is study for is this it is when we use the word passion we usually refer to a strong feeling for something or for someone it could be a burning desire or a feeling of enthusiasm or intense emotion passion expresses itself powerfully like a burning hot fire as it radiates out from our core this power cannot be hidden it demands expression we long for an emotion that is so strong that all we can do is surrender to its power at the same time, we fear this kind of emotion because we are afraid of losing ourselves, our sense of who we are, in the eye of the passion storm within us. But there is clarity and insight to be found in this storm once we have withstood the heat of the fire and have held our balance in the midst of the blazing inferno. Only then can we move to the centre and find the insight at passion's core. The passion activation reveals the process of powerful insight through its purple core, its demand for expression, and the storm of intense feelings and emotions all around. It invites us to become aware of and to burn away anything that stands in the way of finding the valuable insights at its core. And although it could be enjoyable to feel these intense emotions, we cannot stay in this heat for very long without getting burnt. So try this, take a moment to go inside of yourself and what are you really passionate about? Do you love what you do in your daily life? Is your heart and soul engaged? How can you bring more passion into your life? How can you make sure that you don't miss the treasure of insights that lies beneath it? Make time for daily contemplation to check in with yourself and with your passions. Well, so I was saying that um, last week I didn't do any videos for the channel. And I really felt like a massive dip in my vibration because of that, because this really is my passion. This is what fuels me every single day, you know, doing these videos, getting these messages, seeing all the synchronicities that come through these videos, getting the emails from you, from all the people that say, no way, I get so many amazing synchronicities through your videos. And that really fuels my passion for this journey, because without that, I would think, you know, that I certainly probably would have really struggled staying on this path to be honest because so much of it as you all know is about faith about believing in something that isn't you know that isn't showing our, in our reality yet and uh, that takes huge 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 commitment and um, so that's why having this channel and doing these videos and seeing all the messages and the healings and the letters and everything that I do uh, for you guys then it just fuels my passion even more for this journey so I totally get that because last week when I didn't do any videos I really really felt it and as I'm doing this video now I feel my vibration rise because we're basically channeling that energy that divine love frequency so the letter that wants to come through is letter 53 i've already heard it's the number 53 so many times this morning and somebody even sent me the number 53 so i was like okay okay i know 53 needs to come through so the letter is this i'm sorry that i doubted you i battled with my own heart and my own truth and my own feelings of self-worth i do trust in love and i do trust in you and i know that everything you say is what is within our hearts within our DNA. We are programmed by our hearts to come back to each other. Uh -huh. But then my mind gets in the way and puts those fears and doubts back into me again. I know our plan and what we agreed to do together, to find each other again, to experience life and love in our physical bodies, to experience the joy of seeing each other again and finding each other, the excitement that we had before agreeing to come down, 
the thought of being able to touch you, hold you, look into your eyes again and feel your hands in mine. That is what I need to remember and tell myself daily to remember we came here to experience physical love. Oh, okay. So we came here to experience physical love. That's what we came here for. So letter 53, I love you. I desire you. I want you in my life now, forever, every second of every day, of every year on this beautiful planet. I want to coexist with you 100%. When we finally get our union together, we will never take each other for granted. We will love each other every day as if it's our last. We will cherish and adore each other and look after each other and care for each other always. I know that my heart is calling out for you. I know that my soul is aching for you. My body is desperate to be back in your arms, loving you, all of you, two souls into one. That is my dream. And just as I sing this, um, say this, a song on the radio, which is Whitney Houston, Oh, I Want to Dance with Somebody, has just come on the radio, which is very bizarre for this radio channel that um, I'm listening to. This is definitely not a normal song that they would play. They play more indie music. So <laughs> that's definitely a message for somebody out there. Uh, Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. There you go, the passion. Oh, brilliant. Uh, so, 53 is, of course I feel your sadness. I feel sad that we're not together at the moment. But I know that our time will come. I know that there is a greater plan that our souls are working towards. I know that we will be brought home to one another when we have both done our soul growth. And I honour the journey that we are making. I trust in our divine plan. I trust that everything we do will lead us back to each other. I trust in you. Wow. So I trust in you. That's the remember that you have to trust in yourself, in your intuition, in your own truth, uh, because that is so, so, so important. So we're going to use this wonderful deck. So I have a big advocate for this deck. I love it. Messages to love Oracle. What do they want to say? It's time to make a decision. What is going on? Are you going to follow love? Are you going to follow the passion of the heart? Are you going to let go of all the fears and doubts and just completely embrace this journey? Um, because this connection that you have can absolutely stand the test of time. This is the thing. It is here for it because it's an eternal bond. So um, <laughs> that's brilliant. So follow your passions. Put away the computer. Stop listening to all of the videos. I mean, obviously, listen to mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's ironic but um you know don't listen to so many videos go and follow your passion make a decision to choose your passion to choose love to choose the life that you really really want to live and trust that this connection with your twin is here to stand the test of time because it's here to lift and shift your vibration to make you live a different life to push you in all ways so is your the situation that you're in at the moment aligning with your values and morals? This always comes up because uh, basically you have to live in integrity to your own truth. That's the really important thing. Don't listen to anyone else. You own your truth. You know what feels right for you. Uh, so don't ever let anyone else sway you off your path because what's right for you is right for you, right? Um, and so that's a strong message that wants to come out. Don't let anyone look at that at the bottom. It was the twin flame. Uh, so your twin flame is here to push you to be a mirror, to allow you to live a, a bigger life, um, to live a more passion filled life. So follow your passion, trust in that and, um, trust in the passion that is getting rekindled within you to live this life that is going to be so unbelievably amazing. So there you go. I hope that helps. If you want a healing, a reading, a channeling, all of my details are in the description box against this video. I would be very happy to help. All right, take care. Bye. Stay well, stay bright and stay switched on to the light. See ya.